What if I told you it wasn't a dream? What if I told you it really happened? Next. This wasn't my first time renting a car. I've read books on renting cars. My dad gave me the car renting talk. Welcome to Decent Cars, where we're all on the same team yours. I had a reservation under Crosby. Honestly, I assumed he was a decent guy. Probably a decent bass player and a decent cover band. What'd you say your first name was? My first name was Trip, and it still is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not seeing anything under Crosby, so if you wouldn't mind, just step over here. My supervisor, Karen, will be with you in just a second. Next. Mm -mm. I don't think so. And now I'm gonna have to draw my weapon. No, no, I have a reservation. Look, here's the confirmation number right here. Thank you, sir. Uh, just sign right here for full coverage and here if you'd like to decline. And here we go. No, I have insurance coverage and I have the credit card that covers anything else, so I, I should be fine. Sir, most carriers only offer partial coverage and you still have a high deductible. So for $19 a day, this wasn't going to be easy. Coverage. What I'm trying to not do is pay $19 a day for something I don't need. Like I said, most carriers don't offer full coverage. But some carriers do, right? So why don't you tell me what those are? You should just get the coverage. My gut is telling me I don't need the insurance. Well, my gut says you do. It's only $57. Oh, yeah? Well, would your gut be willing to pay me back the $57 if I find out after the fact I don't need the coverage? Oh, sir, that's not how insurance works. No, I'm asking you personally, buddy. Since you're so sure I need the coverage, and since $57 is apparently no big deal, why don't you just pay me back if you're wrong? Uh, I'm sorry? Round one was over, but... Now, would you like to prepay for your gas? Well, what's that? He was not gonna go down easy. Well, you prepay so you don't have to fill it up before you bring it back in. Well, how much is that? $2.27, which is much cheaper than a lot of the gas stations around here. Well, what are my other options? Well, you can fill it up yourself before you bring it back, or you can bring it back in empty and we'll refill it here. It sounds like you fill it either way. Well, it's more if you don't prepay, plus there's a service charge. Do you not see why I'm confused here? No. What I'm trying to understand is why I would do anything other than prepay. Like, what's the catch? There is no catch. You are simply prepaying for a full tank of gas before you bring the car back. To prepay, you have to buy the full tank. It's deceiving. So if I bring the car back after I prepay, and I only used half a tank of gas, what do you do? We refill it. Okay, but if I don't prepay and I bring it back half full, what do you do? We refill it. With the same gas? Yep. The 227 gas. No, it's more. So it's not the same gas. No, same gas, different circumstance. So you're charging me more money just because I didn't know ahead of time that I didn't want to use a whole tank of gas? Am I supposed to be psychic? Oh, and don't forget the service charge. It's literally the same service. Same guy, same pump, same gas. Maybe you should prepay. You know what? No, on the prepaid gas. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I thought it was over. Sir, as a courts member, you will be getting a compact car but you could upgrade to a midsize for $29 per day. Oh dear God, I, I honestly forgot about this step. What's a midsize anyway? A midsize is a four-door sedan, seats four adults comfortably, and has room for two bags in the trunk. It's just me, and then I have four bags. So would that fit? Sir, I don't know how big your bags are. Are you kidding me? Sir, looks like those bags would fit perfectly inside of a midsize. That's not what I'm asking. I'm saying if I can get all of this and all of this in a compact. I don't want to pay an extra $29 a day if I don't have to. So, uh, compact? Yeah, and you know what else? I don't want to pay any money for fuel that I'm not gonna use, and I certainly don't want to pay for insurance coverage if I don't need it. Yeah, I want a car, a basic, car for me and my bags and I want to drive out of here paying the exact amount of money that you advertise me on the mobile app and I want the same thing for these people a simple car for the simple price on the app that's what I want it's true what they say Triumph is just umph with a little bit of try. I'm just an ordinary man. I'm a David who slew his Goliath, and I rode out victoriously. 
in a compact. Hey, thanks for watching. Hey. If you're someone who travels for business, go to Upside.com and book your next flight and hotel there. You're gonna get the lowest possible fares and the best possible customer service. And, and if you them. use if you use the promo code Trip and Tyler, you will get a $100 gift card to the online retailer of your choice. Yes, do the thing you were gonna do anyway, book your travel and get paid for it. $300. 300 bucks. And yes, the online retailer is one of the options. The, the primest, you know the the the, primest online retailer. That's the one. So, upside.com, promo code Trip and Tyler, and subscribe to our channel, please. You're not. We doing that? I thought we were both doing that. No, I didn't agree to that. <laughs>